of a new time of a big change for women in Hollywood, but we cannot say that just yet. Change can take an awfully long time to happen. Just think about how I look exactly the same as I did 20 years ago. It's like, when is change going to happen? Uh, but something seems to be going on this year, right? You could, you could feel it. It's, there's something in the air. Thank you so much for being part of ArcLight Stories. First and foremost, you know, when, when opportunities like this pop up, you have a lot of things to choose from. Why did you say yes? Anytime you can get like into the heart of Hollywood to talk about women in Hollywood is, is a really important strategic opportunity. You should always be following what you really want to do in your passion. That's how you're going to make the best work. That's how you're going to tell the best stories. To sit in front of a room of men and women who are ready, willing, and empowered to listen to messages like this and panels like this, no isn't really even an option. We are ready person by person, woman by woman, to start changing these numbers and changing this environment. There is not only like a female perspective here, but the perspective of female people of color, the perspective of female LGBT people, that's really, really important. Finally, there's a light shine on the fact that we don't have enough female voices out there. So it's exciting that people like the Arclight are actually getting on the right side of history. This is the way we change the world. This conference is doing that today, and I'm so impressed to be here and so impressed with the people that are here. And I love the kind of people who show up for events like this because that means they're curious, and I like to be around people like that. It's infectious, isn't it? It really is. It's a great energy. It's so positive. When you think back to the impetus for this event, what made you want to do it? I think you captured almost all of them in Arclight Stories today, which was amazing. I think that's where I got a little emotional. It was like, wow, there's just something really special going on with these great stories being driven by females. And we wanted to get everything in one place and say, what, what can we do? I want to know that next year we're going to be talking about the same big idea, but there's going to have, there will have been progress. I think it's twofold. It's the people that's hiring and it's also getting the kids interested in it. And seeing that, yes, you are a woman and you can do this because I think seeing is believing. I, I believe that. I'll tell you what's working in my industry is that when a girl sees another girl playing a guitar, then she says, oh, I can do that. And then when they start creating these wonderful songs that then you hear, we've all won. I don't think that the mom should stop the boy that wants to buy the pink guitar. And I don't think that the mom should stop the girl that wants to buy the blue guitar. I just had a young woman say when she saw the behind the scenes of Twilight and she saw that it was directed by a woman, you know, again, like they said in there, their head explode, her head exploded. If you see it, you can be it. If we don't give women and girls female characters that they can identify with, we're robbing them of one of the absolute best parts of seeing a movie. So many women sitting in this audience today are looking to you as an example of success. Um, what, what do you tell them? Don't wait for some guy in a suit to say yes to you. Find another way through to the audience, because the audience is there and they want to see your work. Why don't you do it? Now you have the tools. You create your own content. You can do it. Take ownership over your work and just put it online, put it on a phone, put it somewhere so people can see what you're made of. Our landscape is completely changing and technology is a big reason for that. So become part of the conversation and learn how to program. Fear is the number one enemy of great stories being told, and great stories being told are a source of inspiration all around the world. We are going to create feminist content, and that content is going to live seamlessly in the pop culture space and in the documentary space, and that is being unapologetic with everything, even the language that we use. I have never heard the word unapologetic as often as I've heard it here today, and I'm thrilled by it. We are prepared. We are knowledgeable and we are fed up. Today, with their work, their opinions, their ideas, not going to be apologetic anymore. Our voices matter. We matter right now. That's it. I am taking the pledge that we're going to support female content uh, like we never have before. There's always going to be 